So, hello viewers. Today I bring you a simple repair on my 1998 Toyota Corolla, uh, which has a 4AFE 1.6 gasoline engine. Uh, this uh, engine has been needing to replace the belts, the drive belts, uh, mainly the alternator and the air conditioning belts, which are getting were getting uh, very worn. So uh, before they blew up and left me st stand, standing on the highway, on the side of the road, I decided to replace this. Uh, I've made the, this uh, replacement, uh, this repair in two separate videos, uh, one covering the belts and uh, another one uh, covering uh, the alternator rebuild because I had some strange noises in the alternator, like uh, the noises were something like this. Like this. It when you hear this sort of noises and then the woo, 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 in the in the worst cases, the worst cases of uh, bad bearings in the alternator, uh, you you need to replace those. So uh, since it may not interest uh, everybody, uh, I decided to separate this into two separate videos. If you want to rebuild the alternators or just re replace the belts and the tensioner, so let's start with this repair. So the first step is to remove this bolt here in order to remove the washer bottle. After you remove the, the hose, remove the electrical connector that goes into the pump that sucks the water out of the uh, water uh, bottle. You have to unplug this connector here. So it's always better to, before removing any plugs or working in anything in the electrical part of the car, to remove the negative battery terminal, uh, better safe than sorry. Press on this tab, this tab here, and then with your screwdriver pull out the plug. Uh, so to remove the alternator you have to remove this bolt called the pivot bolt by the Toyota manual then there is another one called the locking bolt it, there is a rail and the bolt is uh, locking the, the alter alternator in place and then there is a tension regulator bolt a long bolt that is located somewhere in this uh, position here that you have to loosen in order to remove the, the alternator Loosen all three bolts. To remove the alternator we have to loosen this bolt here which is the, the bolt that regulates the tension in the alternator drive belt. So get the 12 uh, uh, spanner and then try to remove the bolt here. Now I work on the on the tension regulation bolt. So out comes the locking bolt, which is the, the bolt that prevents the alternator from pivoting. You see, now 
the alternator will spin and we can remove the old belt so here is the, uh, the old belt it's quite quite worn already as you can see so it was really due for for replacement So now I'm removing the wires that go to the alternator uh, since I'll be trying to um, replace the alternator bearings. So one wire comes out. By running the engine uh, with one of the belts removed, you can isolate the source of a bed bearing, for example, if the noise that comes from the engine bay changes. In this case, the noise kept grinding, so I know that that tensioner is going bad because it's still being driven by the belt that remains. The power steering pump and the water pump are stopped at the moment because the belt is absent. So use this technique to diagnose the noises okay. in your engine bay and find the source of the problem. Now I'm removing the uh, accessories uh, belt, which is this long thin belt that uh, drives the compressor of the air conditioning. You have a tensioner here and then it goes round back to drive uh, no, it goes round back to the crankshaft you see this is the crankshaft pulley so now we have to remove or, or we have to loosen this bolt on the tensioner <coughs> so now we have to loosen this uh, nut on the tensioner pulley if you have any difficulties losing this you can always use my trick for uh, loosening the, um, the bolts in which you chain your uh, spanner to another to have more leverage check out the other the this video in my in my channel nut I mean from the tensioner here it is now we can loosen the tension on the pulley and and uh, it will come out here is the, the tensioner to diagnose this sort of pulleys you place the pulley in your uh, for example in your uh, finger your small finger and you spin it around if you notice any vibration or, or uh, uh, whirling uh, like, like there is a small sand inside the bearing or any noise any grinding noise you will feel it a good bearing will not make any grinding or will not make any vibration on your finger you will feel it looks like sand inside the inside the bearing when you pull your ear to it you will hear little um, clinking slight clinking sound in on the inside or grinding this is a sign that this needs to be replaced. For this car, uh, since Toyota asks an arm and a leg for a pulley, I, um, I went to my uh, aftermarket dealer and uh, I bought myself an S S K SKF uh, tensioner pulley, which is a, this, this brand is very good, it makes very good quality bearings. 
and uh, here is the part number and um, it is very similar to the one we are replacing and even comes with a with a plate so we will replace everything it comes with a ring and a plate and even the bolt so perfect replacement there I'll replace everything now after placing the new uh, tensioner pulley tighten up the the pulley nut now it is time for the new uh, ancillary belt I went to wash my hands because because I want to make sure that no oil gets into this uh, this belt it's a recommendation general recommendation when replacing belts uh, keep them away from grease Now, after inserting the belt, tighten up the tensioner uh, adjustment bolt. The belt will start to gain tension. Uh, when uh, tightening the, the belt, you can use a you can use a tension meter if you have it and and uh, go to the manual and use the appropriate the exact tension for the for the belt. But uh, if you do not have that sort of tool, you can just use a an empirical method that people use in workshops. Like you try to twist the belt, try and twist the belt. If the belt twists no more than 19 deg 90 degrees then it is correctly tightened so it should not squeal to tighten the belt you first tighten this bolt here and then after the tension is correct uh, you uh, perform the final tightening on the lock nut which is this this nut here Now it's time for the new alternator belt. Give uh, less tension to the uh, belt you unbolt the tensioner bolt that is located here so by untightening them by untightening it the alternator will move downwards thus slacking the tension on the uh, belt by tightening it the alternator will move up pivoting around this bolt um, increasing the tension on the belt Now I am going to tighten the belt. You can see it's very slack. And now I will begin to tighten it.
almost there. Okay, now it's getting very hard for me to twist it beyond 90 degrees, so it's tight. Now tighten the pivot bolt and then we have to tighten the lock uh, bolt that is somewhere down there, which is the bolt that will hold everything in its... Uh, tuned position after double checking that everything is correct uh, don't forget to reconnect the water lines for the for the window washer and the wiring that goes into the electrical pump that drives the water into the lines and then uh, reattach this bolt that holds the, the reservoir If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me that thumbs up it really helps out uh, spreading out the joy and helping people save some more money in their simple repairs in their uh, Toyota cars if you like this sort of repairs and would like to receive more videos from my channel don't forget to push the subscribe button below to receive more uh, repair information and small videos like this in your uh, YouTube feed till then take care